गुड मॉर्निंग रिस्पेक्टेड एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर मैम प्रिंसिपल मैम इन चार्जेस एंड माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डिलाइटेड एंड ऑनर्ड टू वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन दिस वर्चुअल प्लेटफॉर्म टू विटनेस ओवर कल्चर एक्सोवेगेंजा एक्सपो टू थाउजेंड टूडे स्टूडेंट ऑफ क्लास सेवन जी आर हेयर टू एनलाइटन अस विद द एग्जिस्टेंस एंड इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ मैथ इन द एंटायर आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ द यूनिवर्स right from the starting of life till now in our modernized world like in the designing of enormous buildings or monuments around the world and other general aspects of life now i would request our administrator ma'am principal ma'am to motivate us with their encouraging words dear parents and my dear students a very good morning to all of you it is with immense joy and pride that we organize expo 2022 a motley of creativity talent knowledge and 21st century skills this annual event is of utmost significance for it offers students an opportunity to depict diversified themes after exploring investigating analyzing problem solving designing and editing collaborative nature of expo not only enhances their skill in team building and leadership but also reinforces the social and emotional learning dear parents we view our world with a global perspective now the aim of this project is to give learners an environment which stimulates intrinsic curiosity inquiry based and experiential learning in hope to transform them into individuals who become successful professionals civic leaders and informed citizens of the global society dear children i have complete faith that this year too expo has given you a brilliant platform to unleash your hidden potential and fly with broader wings i hope you have also learned to understand appreciate and reciprocate the global issues and are progressing towards becoming an active participant in addressing and resolving them here i would like to share a poem not everyone gets it not everyone gets it right the first try success is unfortunately a wicked difficult climb however for those who just don't lose hope success will throw down a life saving rope work hard work smart and you will succeed don't follow the rest of the world take lead all my best wishes i send to my dear students i hope you keep getting successful till the end i would like to congratulate principal seema agrawal the proud parents supervisory heads class coordinators and the team of most hard working teachers and sincere students on the accomplishment of this sterling event i look forward to witnessing the enthralling and gripping presentations by my dear students thank you dear children and all the best may god bless you always a very pleasant good morning to the appearance and my dear students expo is one of the most popular and sought after annual events of the school as it taps talents and provides to the children an opportunity to explore their potential to the fullest expo 2022 focuses upon bringing a new level of innovation and designing the very themes covered provides the students a chance to research analyze think critically and creatively the preparation and presentation shall allow the learners to engage in fruitful collaboration and experiential learning dear parents if we are to prepare students for success in life we need to prepare them for a project based world expo connects students to the world beyond the classroom 
and makes them ready to accept and meet challenges in a way that mirrors what professionals do every day. I hope you will appreciate the school's endeavor in developing children into confident individuals equipped with 21st century skill. Dear students, I'm sure that like every year, this year too, you have participated with utmost zeal and enthusiasm. I'm certain that you have put your best foot forward to showcase your themes and in the process, enhance your creativity, interpersonal skills and IT skills and boosted your confidence. As someone rightly said, and I quote, I am not afraid of storms for I am learning how to sail my ship. I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to you, dear parents, for your motivation through your constant support and cooperation. I would like to congratulate the supervisory in charges, teacher coordinators, and the entire team of diligent and devoted teachers for their tireless efforts to put up a grand event. I'm eagerly waiting to witness some marvelous and inspiring presentations by my wonderful children. Thank you. Thank you so much, Administrator Ma'am and Principal Ma'am for such kind words. Now, I request Tane and Vrinda to start the program with everyone's blessings. Mathematics is the most beautiful and most powerful creation of the human spirit. That's why numbers rule the universe. A very fine and enchanting morning to all the amazing people present on this platform. It's a very proud moment for students of class 7G to present before you Expo 2022. Flowers are the music of the ground. From earthlets spoken without sound. Here is a small token of love and respect for you, dear Administrator Ma'am and Principal Ma'am. Dance is created by defining space and time. With dance, we can create a beautiful exhilarating expression of mathematics. We are excited to welcome our fellow mates Prisha and Vanya for Ganesh Vandana.
the world. It is present in the farthest corners of the universe. Let us see a brief explanation by our bright stars. Mathematics in architecture, pyramids. In simple terms, a pyramid is a polyhedron formed by connecting a polygonal base and a point called the apex. The ancient Egyptians used simple mathematical terms to create such large and great pyramids. They used the Pythagorean theorem, trigonometry and simple algebra. They also measured the angle of each direction so that the pyramid should face exactly the directions north, south, east and west. Fascinating, isn't it? The Great Pyramid of Giza weighs more than 6300,000 tons and has a base that has a base only that covers us an area of 7 to 8 full size football pitches and it has a total volume of 2.5 million cubic meters. Hello everyone, what do you think when you hear the word Eiffel Tower, the tallest tower in France? Exactly. It has been the tallest tower for four decades until the Chrysler building in New York was finished. It is 1,083 feet tall. It was built by Stephen Sylvester, Maurice Cochlin and M. L. Nodular. It was named after the engineer Gustav Eiffel. But do you know it also smacks hidden in it? Let's find it. It has 186 triangles. The four curved pil pillars tilted inwards are at an angle of 54 degree. It has 1710 steps. It, the lines of symmetry in it are 8 lines. Isn't it interesting? Let's find more. It is just equal to an 81 story building and weighs about 10,000 tons. Sydney Opera House Sydney Opera House, located in the Bay of Sydney Harbour, is a performing arts centre. It has become as a masterpiece of modern architecture and a symbol of Australia. There are more than 1 million roof tiles covering approximately 1.62 hectares sitting over the structure. Did you know if all the 14 shells of the Sydney Opera House were combined, it would form a perfect sphere. 6,223 square meter of glass were used to cover the building and it is designed with a series of arc white roofs shaped like the sails of boat to reflect his love for sailing. Mathematics is used in many daily purposes. We can see mathematics everywhere as in our homes, houses, schools, offices, etc. Thank you and have a nice day. Today I am going to tell you about the Eden project. Eden project has got the world record for largest greenhouse in the world. It is as large as 35 football pitches which is around 13 hectares. Eden project is made by 625 hexagons, 16 pentagons and 190 triangles. Each dome consists of X3 hex space frame with two layers. The outer layer consists of hexagon and pentagon and the inner layer consists of hexagon and triangle bolted together. The rainforest biome covers about 16,000 meter squares and is 50 meter high. We can fit the Tower of London inside it. The Mediterranean biome covers about 6,450 meters square and is 30 meters high. Around 230 miles of scaffolding was used to cover up all the biomes. Designed by Antoni Gaudi, La Sagrada Familia is one of the most iconic buildings in Spain. The hyperbolic parabolic forms were used in the construction of the church, which has a very complex structure. There is a magical square at the Passion Facade of the Sagrada Familia Church whose construction began in 1882 and it's still incomplete. The sum of each row and column of the magical square gives the number 33 because the magical square is said to be the symbol of the crucifixion of Jesus at the age of 33. The magical constant or M 
is the constant sum in every row, column and diagonal and can be represented by the formula m is equal to n multiplied by n square plus 1 upon 2. If you need to understand the universe, then first you need to understand the language in which it is written and that language is mathematics. Hello friends. Today, I am going to tell you some mathematical facts about Parthenon of Greece. The Parthenon is 30.8 meter wide and 69.51 meter long. Therefore, the ratio is 4 is to 9. And this ratio of 4 is to 9 runs in the other parts of building, including the height of the facade and to its weight and the width of the Parthenon's front column. The ratio of the longer side of the Parthenon to the shorter size is root 5 to 1. And do you know that? That the square root of 5 is the number that multiplied by itself is 5. Isn't that interesting? Taj Mahal, one of the seven wonders of the world. Its architecture is so spectacular, isn't it? But have you ever wondered what makes its architecture so fantastic? Well, the answer is maths. So, let's dig deep inside the maths of Taj Mahal. If we cut, cut Taj Mahal vertically, then the two halves will be totally congruent. That tells that Taj Mahal is a well-planned symmetrical building. Taj Mahal has one symmetrical line, which means all the pillars, all the rooms, the dome, everything is congruent and symmetrical. Many archaeologists even say that the designs inside the Taj Mahal are symmetrical. Four symmetrical lines can pass through the designs. Isn't that fantastic? Wow, that was such knowledgeable information. Chahi ho Raja ka Taj. Chahi ho Raja ka Taj. Har jage maths ka Raj. Let us learn briefly about it for a beautiful eye-soothing presentation. Mass is a language of God and a way to connect to Him. As we all know, mass is the core of our brain and technical skills. It is an integral and important part in our day to day life. Mass is everywhere. With this spectacular thought in our mind, let's start the play. How is your maths exam, dear? It was okay, but you know that math is not my cup of tea. Anyways, Math is not useful for me. It is not like that dear. Math is very important in our daily life. I certainly don't agree with you. No one, but no one will use math in this house. But, okay, we are trying what we should think about this. Okay, never mind. Mom, mom, I'm that much hungry that I can eat a horse. Give me math to eat. Okay, two minutes. No math, mom. Oh, sorry. We'll take care from next time. What is this? No salt? Hey, Harshi. You only said not to use maths in this house. So now your mom is not able to measure how much salt to put. So she didn't put any. So now enjoy your two minutes. Oh, no mathematics. Enjoy your non-mathematical Maggie. Whatever. Math has always been rubbish. Okay, as you say. I must be getting late for my tuitions. What's the time? I asked, what's the time? I can't tell you what's the time. Why? Is your battery weak? No, it's not like that. Are you out of your mind? No.
So now do you understand how math is important in every occupation? We can use math in different occupations like architecture, engineering, doctor, etc. Math lies in every part of our life. So never hate math. It's very important. The performances was not only engaging but also delivered a strong message. I am sure that all the audience are asking for more. understands the importance of health and kiran bedi aptly explained it so with correlating it with maths an example even a layman would understand there is a very interesting story a person of my age is in a park and he said number 1 is health so he says i have one i have one thing which is health and he said after that you add a zero of education it becomes 10 he said becomes you add a zero another zero it becomes 100 i've got a job then you add another zero i've got lot of money to earn so i'm 1000 i add another zero i got a lovely family then i'm 10000 i add zeros and zeros as i become a billionaire and a trillionaire or a rich in family in job in materialism he says you can add so many zeros to your life after this one which is health then he says you drop this health one everything becomes a zero hope you have understood this beautiful concept now let us forget about the score and let us do move and groove with our fellow mates Real.
कुछ पाने की हो आस आस कोई अरमा हो जो खास खास आशा है हर कोशिश में हो बार बार कर दरियाओ को आर पार आशा है तूफानों को चीर के मंजिलों को छीन ले
On behalf of our class, we extend a really hearty vote of thanks to our administrator, Mrs. Anita Varira, ma'am, and our principal, Mrs. Seema Agarwal, ma'am, for providing us this opportunity. A special thanks to Mrs. Ekta Seth, ma'am, for IT coordination. I extend my most sincere thanks to the audience for spending time from a busy schedule to grace the occasion. It's time to wind up the presentation with remembrance of God. I request you all to join us in for Shanti Pat. Om Tyau Shanti Antariksham Shanti Prithavi Shanti Rapah Shanti Ro Shadhaya Shanti Vanaspataya Shanti Vishwe Deva Shanti Brahma Shanti Sarvagvam Shanti Shanti Reva Shanti Sama Shanti Redhi Om Shanti 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 Om